hello k tribe welcome back to my youtube channel my name is kem Bear. in today's video we're going to be cooking a wonderful recipe for fried chicken quick and tasty recipe for full whole chicken guys let's cook with me for a delicious meal today's video is highly inspired by terry ann's kitchen with jamaican sister so shout out to her now that i'm living alone i'm going to be trying lots of cooking videos so i hope you enjoy my video today i'm trying something absolutely new i'm trying to make it simple and quick so i hope you follow through and i'm not gonna be talking so much so i hope you follow through step by step and yeah let's start so i love a lot of onions so i'm gonna be doing four red onions for this whole chicken it's a full chicken guys and it's not organic it's boiler so I added a lot of spices I marinated it overnight with Worcestershire sauce <laughs> and um, a lot of uh, uh, light soy sauce and ginger and garlic and yeah so I marinated it overnight and now it's ready to cook here is the chicken that I'm talking about this is the chicken that I marinated <laughs> I'm just gonna name the ingredients on the on the on the screen. So I'll put a oil and make the oil to be super high hot before dipping your chicken. You can see the sizzling. So now what I'm doing is I want to brown the chicken. What is called chicken? Sorry, S-C-A-R-I-N-G. I'm gonna be browning for both sides for eight minutes. So I'll start with this side. And then I'll flip it over and do the same. Guys, if you like this kind of video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like, comment, share this video. And if you make this chicken the way I'm making it, please comment down below. I already showed how I marinated this chicken in a live video on Friday, so you can see that video to pop up here. So that's what I'm doing and I love lemon zest a lot. I love lemon zest so make sure I use also lemon and I wash this chicken like with lemon and vinegar just to remove the just to make it more cleaner. And after it's cooked I remove the the chicken so it's cooked eight minutes, eight minutes both side. So now I want to saute my onions. I love onions like uh, comment down below if you love your food with onions especially if it meats and beef and seafood just make I love my onions and then I love it when it's translucent you know I just love even raw onions and red onions are my best I love them so much so I'm gonna saute them I'll put salt on it and I'll put my spices e.g. curry powder please use curry powder from Simba from this company that I'm using I'll show you uh, right now. So. so after that, I'll use salt, of course, one te one teaspoon of salt. Don't put too much salt because remember you have soy sauce and soy sauce has high sodium, so it becomes so salty. And use this curry powder from Simba from the brand, this brand, it's the best, I'm telling you, you want to replace it, it's so nice, and yeah, just use it, when you use it, or if you use it, let me know down below, so I, I usually like to fry my spices with my onions, so that it can be, bring that like aromatic smell, so that then you can be ready, you can remove the aromatic smell, like yeah, so you can fry them, until they are translucent guys like this i like this color because so, i'm gonna be putting my chicken my already this is garlic, this is yeah. garlic i'm putting i already put ginger also on my, okay, I'm the first when i was marinating it guys. i'm gonna link down below the the banana i was following so i love lemon zest and i love lemon juice on all my meat so i must have it so like everywhere so i'm getting the zest of the lemon i just love lemon you can leave this if you don't love lemon just love the sour it's a taste that it ends up giving the food and i was so scared of this chicken guys but it turned out 
really good so this was my video and i'm a person who don't like chicken a lot or you don't love the smell of chicken and fish so i have to eat my fishes and meat well marinated so that i don't feel that fishy or chicken still yeah so now it's ready these are the chicken that I had browned before so I'm putting them all on the pan the pieces were big chunks so <laughs> bear with me I wanted to cut them into pieces as I said off oh, my part it's already it's already late so I'll do that I've already done that I've put all the pieces this is a full chicken guys and I had that the, you put the this is the soup that I had like removed and it was cooking to the so this is its own dishes. So I removed it and then added it back. How to get the broth here? Yes. Added the broth of the chicken back and the other marination juices. I added them back and let it boil again for about like 20 minutes and my food was almost ready. So I like to oh, my 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 meat and my stews my chicken to be well done I don't tolerate not well done meat because i have like i don't i don't just like meat that thing so i have to have my meat well done so that's what happening right now and i'm just mixing you see that on oh, no, oh my god it is so yummy i had this and it's so so good you can have this chicken with rice you know i live alone so this whole food is like a meal prep i have a meal prep video coming out soon guys so be ready for that i don't have to do this video alone so this chicken you can have it with rice you can have it with uh, chapati mm -hmm. or flatbread as you call it it's basically like you can foil it like a shawarma you can also have it with garlic and skooma like i did and I love coriander, coriander, finrancha. I don't know how you call it there, but it's called dania in Swahili. I put my dania last, and I've even like, like, I'm all, I'm like one minute to that be done with cooking. So, because I like my dania fresh and not overcooked, and just the steam from the chicken will cook the dania, the coriander and i just love it i can already smell can you smell oh my god it's so good and i believe this washing sauce so i'm gonna just wait the word industry makes a whole lot of different that sauce and uh nini makes a lot of different use it in your meat guys you will not regret it and it's like 326 kenyan shillings so yeah because sometimes i feel like i want to eat at the restaurant because this is like my secret. The Wasasa sauce is the secret to good chicken, good restaurant chicken. So you see, that's my food now. I don't I'm not really good on presentation, but I'm trying. I am trying, guys. I am literally trying. So don't judge me. So I'll put my chicken. As you know, I'm trying to find like pieces of onions and danias to just put it there. I didn't use tomatoes juice. This round as i told you i'm cooking differently i'm blogging differently i want to know like we are like like we're in the road for 30k subscribers so guys please subscribe if you reach this far please subscribe if you've got any helpful information please subscribe and give a big thumbs up like this video that's the only way i'll know you like this kind of videos and that's my food guys the ugali i'll eat it with ugali this time i'll eat it with ugali and kale, kale is kumawiki and spinach, mixture of scales and spinach. I love that's my favorite, one of my favorite vegetables. Yeah, guys, so that's my food. I just want you to like observe it while commenting down below. What's your thought when you see this plate of chicken? What's your thought? What's your thought? And then I had to use a, like, I don't know what I was trying to do here. Hmm? But I wanted you to see how greasy and soft it's inside. Like, it is so nice. It was so good. So, yeah. I just want you to see. Like, 
can you see that juicy and it smells so good my neighbors wanted to come over <laughs> that was a joke we couldn't get it yeah so that's how i cook my chicken thank you so much teria this is another german vlogger that inspired this idea of cooking and i'm using a new lens guys so if you see a, a different quality let me know down below i'm upgrading we are we are upgrading guys i'm doing all i can to reach 30k subscribers by the end of march and yeah as i told you before i'm milk prepping so this other left chicken i'll eat it tomorrow with or the next day with chapati and the next day before the next day with chick with rice and yeah that's my veggies they were overcooked so kuma wiki kills and spinach and i'll just put them on the freezer guys let me know where you get your containers for the freezers because they're damn expensive yeah guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe mm -hmm. till another one